In 1530, the religious tensions of the Holy Roman Empire had gone so far that a massive war was fought. The growing Brandenburgian dukedom fought as the leader of the Protestant side, while Bohemia took control over the Catholic state's armies. Austria, who was unofficially a Protestant country, quickly declared neutrality in the war, which would weaken the Protestants substantially. The Protestant forces massed in the northern parts of the empire, while the Catholics controlled most of the southern parts. Strong fortifications supported by the Brandenburgian armies forced the second Bohemian army to march south through Austria to link up with the combined Catholic forces to the west. Meanwhile, the Protestant coalition quickly sieged the northern Catholic lands and started moving towards the combined Catholic forces to intercept them before they could link up with the Bohemians. The first mayor battle was fought just north of the Swiss borders, as the Protestant coalition attacked the combined Catholic forces. With a superior general and better military technology, the Protestants emerged victorious and the Catholics were forced to retreat back into Salzburg, where they consolidated with the Second Bohemian Army. With the Second Bohemian Army occupied elsewhere, Brandenburg attacked the First Bohemian Army and won a hard-won victory with massive casualties on both sides. Meanwhile, the Protestant coalition moved south into Switzerland to set up a defensive line against the incoming counterattack from the combined Catholic forces. Even though Brandenburg had won the battle, they had to leave the now undefended Bohemian lands to support the Protestant coalition, who was going to be attacked by the combined Catholic forces who now outnumbered them 2 to 1. The battle that would decide the war was fought in the outskirts of Baden in Switzerland. The Protestant coalition had set up an ambush on the single road that led through the thick forests and unpassable mountains. The position was perfect as it created a natural bottleneck that the overwhelming Catholic forces would have to push through. The Catholic forces arrived at the site and the battle commenced. Not ready for the artillery fire, the Catholics took heavy damage from the first volley, destroying one of their artillery regiments and causing panic in their ranks, leading to two musketeer regiments fleeing the battle. Still confident in their numbers, the Bohemian general ordered his troops to push through the bottleneck while the artillery regiments started moving into a position where they could return fire from the Protestant artillery. The second Protestant artillery volley had massive effect on the concentrated Catholic forces and one of their pikemen regiments fell. Their numerical advantage did however allow them to push through and a split maneuver was ordered to gain a bigger front line allowing them to flank the smaller Protestant forces. With the Catholics almost in place, the Protestant cavalry regiment charged into their left flank to buy time for reinforcements and stop the Catholics flanking maneuver. Meanwhile, the Catholics' artillery was now in position to fire back and the Protestant morale was dropping by the minute. Finally in position, the Catholics could return fire and their first cavalry regiment flanked to the right and engaged the Protestant pikemen positioned there. Their left flank was however held up by the Protestant cavalry, which led to fire superiority for the Protestants. While they had fought well, the Protestant cavalry regiment soon fell, which opened up the whole front line for the Catholics. To counter this, the Protestant army fell back to get into a better defensive position to hold against the numerically superior force. 
Exhausted and with low morale, the Protestants held back the Catholic forces as best as they could, but the situation was dire. But as the battle looked most grim, a miracle from the Lord happened as the Brandenburgian cavalry regiments arrived at the battle site. The Brandenburgian cavalry swiftly took out the Catholics' artillery and then moved north to surround the main bulk of the Catholic army. The Catholic general tried to give orders to set up a defensive line to the south, but the widespread exhaustion led to panic in the ranks and many troops surrendered. In a final attempt to regain the upper hand, the Catholic general charged the Brandenburgian cavalry and died in the battle. The Catholic army was now completely surrounded or fleeing, leading to their capitulation. With most of the Catholic forces either dead or capitulated, the war was now won by the Protestants and a vote for the official religion of the HRE was called. The Protestants won the vote by 2 to 1, but refusing to those terms, Bohemia proclaimed Catholicism to be the official religion once again. However, with a majority of the princes being Protestant, the HRE was unstable and the Emperor became little more than a title as the leagues once again formed, now with countries outside the HRE joining in. Hi guys, Fullbordon from Sweden here. Thanks for watching this video. It took me a hell of a long time to make and I figured that if I was going to play a whole campaign and make a video like this, the video would just be too long and I would probably give up before I'm done with it. But the plan is to make a second part uh, where I try to form Germany. So stay tuned for that. Uh, also, uh, thanks for the recent support on my Victoria videos. It's been fun doing a Let's Play as well. And not just these time lapses. And uh, I guess that's all. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you didn't, I'm sorry I wasted your time. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Full boarded, out. <laughs>